Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent. Today we're going to be featuring Ichiveria Blue Cloud and if you are trying to look for a succulent that is heavily coated by the white coating sa kanyang leaves which is what we call yung ating farina then this kind of succulent is perfect for you. Pag ilalagyan natin siya under daylight, I have noticed na yung color ng kanyang leaves would appear to be whitish as compared to the light blue color that we can see pag nasa indoor siya. They are also considered as a big size succulents and yung kanilang rosettes would grow up to 6 inches or more. Currently, my blue cloud is 6.5 inches. Yung kanyang diameter and yung kanyang height is already 3.5 to 4 inches tall. Yung kanyang flower is very typical as with other Echeverias. It will have these branch stems of pink flowers and sa pinakagitna niya, there will be some color yellow. We need to give this succulent plenty of bright light every day and because of its thick farina, kayang kaya niyang i-handle or i-tolerate yung ating sikat ng araw. In any case that we will be bringing them indoors, we can also provide some artificial lights or yung ating grow lights to supplement nga yung ating daylight. If you wanted your succulent to be as compact as this, then 4 to 6 hours of full sunlight is preferred. Pag masyadong malakas yung sinag ng araw or masyadong mainit, for example, during our dry season or yung ating summer days, then you have to provide some shade sa kanya, probably a plastic sheet like what I'm using. Or you can also put some shade cloth just to protect its leaves against the scorching sun para maiwasan natin ang sunburn. We also need to water these when the soil is bone dry or pag completely dry na nga yung kanyang pinaka soil and we have to allow nga yung excess water to drip from drainage hole from our pot. So can dry method yung ginagamit kong way of watering and yung water should drain quickly and the soil should not stay moist and soggy kasi if that's gonna happen, we're gonna be having some issues with root rot or some fungal infections. As much as I wanted to put this in a rain or shine area, I simply didn't want to do it kasi nga I'm trying to protect yung kanyang farina. Yung mga succulents na ganito kasi pag nauulanan sila, some of their farina could be removed. And if for example, there are some parts nung kanilang farina ay natanggal, it would look like this. Last week naulanan siya and that happened and if natanggal natin yung kanyang farina, it would take some time before it can recover or bumalik sa dati. Kaya it's something that you need to consider kung saan nyo siya ilalagay. This kind of succulent is best watered nga directly sa kanyang pinaka soil, avoid din yung kanyang leaves and yung kanyang pinaka rosette to maintain nga yung kanyang natural beauty. I don't usually water these blue cloud as often as with my other succulents kasi I wanted to preserve yung kanyang sun stress na color which is like this. Although you would see na some of its leaves are already dehydrated. Mapapansin ninyo na kulubot na siya. It's shriveled. And every time I notice na ganito na nga yung kanyang leaves, that's the time I water it thoroughly. We have to plant our blue cloud in a well-draining soil mix and you have to make sure na yung kagamitin ninyong pot has drainage hole sa kanya. And here, Ayan, may kita nyo naman ang lalaki ng drainage hole niya. I think we have 8 doon to make sure na talagang hindi magstay yung water dito sa pinakaloob. Even if na this is considered as a collector's item na succulent, I didn't make use of any fancy or special soil mix sa kanya. So it's the same thing with what I'm using with my other succulents. This is just yung ating typical na loam soil with some vermicast sa kanya. We can also remove some of its dried leaves dito sa pinaka bottom part and mabilis lang naman siyang tanggalin. You can just simply pull it away and it's best if we can remove itong mga dried leaves na ito kasi nga we have to give space sa ating mga new offsets na tutubo and at the same time we are trying to avoid nga na magkaroon tayo ng mga pest infestations kasi gusto gusto nilang tumambay dito nga sa ating mga dried leaves. You can make use of tweezers if you have pero for me I prefer using yung aking finger kasi nga mas maganda yung kapit niya and mas mabilis kong ma-pull out itong ating mga dried leaves. You can also put some plant stands like this just to help support nga itong ating growing rosette especially pag lumalaki kasi sila. They tend to bend down on one side and for you to achieve nga yung kanyang vertical growth na symmetrical na sa gitna lang siya, you can put some plant stands sa gilid. So I have here one and doon naman sa 
other side. This will now help secure yung position ng ating blue cloud in the middle. Propagating this succulent is the same with other succulents. Pwede tayong kumuha ng kanyang leaves or we can also do yung ating beheading or pupugutan natin siya. I have here two offsets na tinanggal natin dito sa ating mother blue cloud and we cut it one week ago and you would notice na nagkalos na nga yung pinagkatan natin sa kanya and we are now ready to replant this. So this is a 4.5 inches na pot size, yung kanyang diameter. I'm using yung ating long soil as well and ilalagay lang natin siya dito. Itutusok lang natin siya. Ganyan. And even this. So we will just put this in a bright shaded area for the first week. Then we will gradually expose it to filter sunlight. And also I won't be watering this until magkaroon na nga siya ng roots. For you to know if nagkaroon na nga siya ng roots, you can just simply na i-leaf siya. If you feel any resistance in the future, then you can say na nagkaroon na nga siya ng roots and that's the time I would start watering my blue cloud cuttings. So this succulent is also not spared from our fungal infections and in any case na there is an existing fungal infection sa kanya, you can apply some fungicide. Although in my case, I don't usually use yung ating broad spectrum fungicide sa kanya kasi sayang naman yung kanyang farina if it will be stained and syempre hindi rin siya ganun kagandang tignan if there are some stains sa kanya especially na hindi ko ito pinapaulanan or when I water it hindi ko dinediretso dito sa kanyang leaves so there's no way for me to get rid of those stains unlike sa aking mga succulents na pag naulanan sila naturally those stains would fade away or matatanggal kaya I'm trying my best na hindi siya magkaroon ng fungal infections naturally and unang-una nga dyan, you have to avoid overwatering kasi that's the main cause of fungal infections and pangalawa nilalagay ko siya sa isang area with good air circulation or ventilation para maiwasan natin na mag-develop yung ating fungal infections. That's all for our Echeveria Blue Cloud. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.